Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel, Simone Speaks. Thanks for tuning into this general reading for April 2020 in Aries season. This is going to be a love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury this month, okay? I have pulled some cards off camera to save some time. Let's get into it. There's additional links in the box below to how to get in contact with me, as well as um, bonus videos that will also be linked towards the end of this video as well, okay? That are also Pisces videos for the month, okay? So we have the... Uh, Awakening card number 12, okay? Six of Swords, Eight of um, Pentacles. Let's see what we have, Pisces. Okay, interesting combo we have. We have Three of Swords and the Ten of Cups, okay? So I definitely am seeing, um, you know, all zodiac signs here, all elements. Uh, but if I did have to pinpoint exactly what, you know, signs I am seeing right out the gate is um, I would definitely say Gemini, Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer like yourself and Gemini. OK, that's really what I'm getting like automatically. So. With the three of swords, six of uh, swords. So swords, swords. So swords is the most dominant. We have one major arcana, one pentacle, and one cup. Okay, let's pull some romance angel for that. Let's get some love cards, romance angel cards, please. Release your ex. Healing family issues. Pisces, all Pisces, April 2020, most dominant energy, please. Okay, all these cards just flipped over, so I'll take it. That's a lot of cards, but I'll take it. Getting to know each other, unrequited love, give your relationship a chance, honeymoon. Um, it is safe for you to love. Oh my goodness, okay. So this feels like a catch-22, okay? This is definitely a catch-22, Pisces. Um, you know, it's energy of, you know, do I stay, do I go? Damn if I do, damn if I don't. Um, you know, everything you do, it can be misinterpreted with this person. Um, and I really feel like in your head, it's like this energy of around and around we go. Okay. So basically, you know, you're really stuck in your mind over this person. Um, because I feel like you really want to understand uh, this person. You're really, uh, you know, drawn towards this person. Um, you know, and I feel like they're very attractive to you. Okay. So. For some reason, there is a chink in the chain. So let's go ahead and pull some cards and see what this person's energy is towards you. Okay, let's go ahead and see that. Got so much romance angel for you, Pisces. Okay. How does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel about Pisces? Six of swords. Mm, one foot in, one foot out. So maybe... This person is actually not um, as aware of your feelings for them as you would think. Okay, this person I feel is not entirely aware of, you know, the way they impact you. Okay, the way they impact you, the way they make you feel. Um, they don't really have full knowledge of this, I feel, okay? Ace of Wands, Six of Swords, Two of Swords, the Fool card, Major Arcana, the World Universe, Six of Wands, a Chariot. See, there's that Cancer energy, okay? There's water all day in the in these cards, like all day, every day. I feel this is like water to water, especially this is water to water. Sun sign? Oh my goodness. Nine of Wands. Okay, we have a lot of nines and tens, okay? So... Mm, I feel like you you're tempted to you're tempted I feel here to do something that you've never done before okay you want like to to leap into the unknown I feel with this person um but there is a kind of energy here of you know like forbidden fruit forbidden love it kind of feels like you know you and this person um have this kind of you know secret you know bond and it's not really being I feel express outwardly okay like for some reason you and this person are not really showing um this love you know in the 3d the physical okay you're not you're not you know in person nothing so we have the card of unrequited love so i really do feel like you both are questioning your feelings for one another Okay, you and this person are both questioning the compatibility, the chemistry level, you know, 
the long term first you know slash short term approach of going into this connection accepting the connection this could be a twin flame i feel okay, i'm just gonna say it's definitely a twin flame for a lot of you um but it, it just feels like you both are, are just questioning if you guys are a good match for each other which is so crazy because on your end pisces it feels like you you really like really 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 like this person okay um but there's a lot of i feel you know confusion in the mind over this connection okay so this connection is i feel very you know fresh very unique it's not like an experience you've had before which really feels like a twin flame to me honestly but it may not be a twin flame for all of you of course i hope i wish it was but you know it may, i mean but that that's how it feels it definitely feels like you know this is something that you've never experienced before and that's twin flame connection okay when when you know one person runs one person chases that's a twin flame dynamic okay so look into that all right but i i do feel like um there's been like a, an energy of, of of psyching yourself up for something that you know you know you could be let down. It's like, it's almost like when you're little and and your parents say to you, you know, um, you know, we're gonna go here, we're gonna you know have cotton candy and go on the carnival ride. It's gonna be great. And then when you get there, it's it's closed. It's that that feeling of you know someone pumping themselves up to think about this kind of fantasy and then when they actually get there it's it's like nothing's there okay so this is what i feel with the three of swords energy you know th the overthinking pisces is what it could be could be you know making you guys uh take a, a u-turn here you know i mean you guys were on the on the way of the destination you guys were going in a good direction you guys were you know things took off but it feels like somewhere along the lines you know, you guys um, took a wrong, a wrong turn. Okay, so the cards say release your ex. It's safe for you to love, unrequited love. So we have a very, you know, melancholy, mixed messages, mixed signals, mixed feelings vibe here, where you're not, you know, you and this person are. I feel giving mixed signals. Okay, I, that's what I'm gonna say. It feels like a mixed signal, Pisces, and I really feel like you and this person are both feeling similar things but you're not communicating it okay and that definitely feels once again very twin flame to me okay when when you're with when you're in a connection like that that's so strong you know telepathy you know you don't really talk as much it's very it's all it's mainly spiritual to be honest with you um until you know you're out of separation you're together so there's a lot of healing there's a lot of inner work that needs to be done and i feel like you know you are working on that um, there can be more work, I do feel, but you are working at that. You're going at your own pace, but I just feel like there could be a lot of things done between both of you, you know, physically, okay, over the phone, text message, you know, talking, social media, where you guys could actually get this off the ground. So, you know, this is like forbidden love. It kind of feels like, you know, you guys are kind of, you know, just thinking about each other, but you know, it's not actually manifesting just yet. It hasn't really, you know, popped just yet. So you guys are both trying to... I feel bring this together but it's it's taking quite some time so the good news is we have a chariot and we also have the six of wands which i freaking love so this is obviously showing that there's going to be um some kind of movement there is going to be some kind of forward movement okay which i literally love for you guys so all the worries all the doubts you have right now um, you know, the, the anxiety, you know, the confusion to a swords, it's not necessary, okay? Things are, I feel for you, Pisces, unraveling, you know, as it should. And, you know, that's really hard to hear when you want to just be with somebody and you want to, you know, kind of, you know, figure out, should I stay, should I go? I get that. But this is a situation where you both are, you know, you both are awakening, okay? You, you both are awakening, Okay, number number twelve, Major Arcana, Archangel uh, Gabriel, Gabriel. People pronounce it differently. Um, different perspective. Yeah, temporary standstill. Look at that. It's important to be yourself. Be your be your authentic true self. Yeah. So, absolutely, Pisces. You guys are both going through. I feel a spiritual awakening, and this is a lot bigger than just you know kissing and hugging and going to the park and having soda. This is a lot deeper than that, and so this is a very special connection you have. And so if it has to take time, it has to take time. Now, the only issue I see with that, you know, whole time thing is that um, 
this could be with a Taurus Virgo. I feel if you're with a Taurus or a Virgo, I feel that really strongly here. There could be, um, you know, there could be a disconnect there, okay, in terms of, you know, waiting for, for each other. But, you know, I do see here that, that the problem could be that, you know, one of you, either you or this person, gets frustrated and wants to kind of tap out because things are taking so damn long, okay? But the reality is, is that, you know, you both are gaining, you know, higher, you know, wisdom, okay? Eight of Pentacles, you know, different skill set, different perspective, you know, you both are really learning how to blossom in a different way. And I feel like it's for your highest good, Pisces, okay? So if you're not with this person for a certain period of time, I wouldn't stress it. I mean, I do see the stresses here, Nine of Wands. So, the, so there has been stress, but I overall, I'm saying based upon the new beginning and the, you know, the wisdom, you know, Eight of Pentacles is a really good card for studying literature and, you know, different crafts and stuff. So you're almost there. You know, the eight is almost close to 10. You're almost there, Pis Pisces. You're almost there. So you and this person are, I feel, are healing. Okay. But there is going to be a grace period, honeymoon. There is going to be a nice period for you guys to have a, a nice chat, you know, you and this person together. So I do feel like you both are going to have communication, but it may be very slow to come in. Okay. Very, 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 very slow, but it's only because there could be a lot of past energy, you know, past regrets, you know, family wounds and, you know, drama that I feel needs to be cleared out. So this is an awakening. This is a, a total awakening. This is an eclipse of the heart, I want to say. And you both are trying to um, figure this out. So it's not about rushing to the finish line and rushing into union. It's about actually knowing yourself, knowing thyself and being happy. Okay. So you both need to get to know each other more. That's, that's the bottom line here. Once everything kind of settles and, and this person comes towards you, you go towards them. Hopefully you both can meet in the middle here. Cause that's, that's another problem I see is that you both are not really, uh, you know, who it's like, who goes first, who initiates? Well, just let it flow. Okay. Just let it flow. But yeah, you, you both do need to get to know each other because there could be a little, a little, a little bit of a disconnect there. Okay. With the unrequited love, there could be a little bit of disconnect. And I feel like it's, 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 it's hurting the connection It's hurting you Pisces. So let it flow, let it go. I would say don't stress it. Um, you know, the, the feelings are definitely mutual with the Ace of Wands. You know, this could be a great, you know, you know, official, you know, you know, official relationship where you both are official together, you know, down the line. But right now there's a lot of, you know, stagnancy. OK, and so obviously in order for the new to come in, the full card major arcana, we got to get rid of the old. OK, so if that's old beliefs exes family issues like i'm seeing here in the romance angel cards then that's what has to be removed in, in order for you guys to actually be together and get out of this confusion okay so this is your reading pisces beautiful energy i just really feel like this is you know a higher level you know um connection and it's just not it's not all about the physical with you and this person it's really about the, the connection and so it's a beautiful process it's not an easy one but it's a beautiful one and so i would just honestly say just keep an open heart and mind and you know just be very light about it you know don't make it so you know complex and on your mind and oh this person don't don't, don't think about that because that's not important what's important is you leveling up and understanding yourself knowing thyself and you both coming to that 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 equal that meeting in the middle okay i feel like you both need to meet in the middle and um you know whatever heartbreak or whatever kind of you know separation has happened um it's not going to be for too much longer okay i do see you know a coming back together of some sorts but then you know there is an energy also here coming back together and then also you know going apart again i do see that that energy here as well okay so the the reality is is that you know this burden cannot only be your own pisces you know if you want to be with this person it's two people. It takes two to tango. It can't just be you just giving, giving, giving. So you need to just put that boundary up from now because especially if this is a deep, you know, twin flame, for example, you know, you can't let this person just take the piss out of you. You have to have some boundaries, Pisces, okay? So definitely for sure, if this person's walked away, you walked away, there's been heartbreak, let it flow. Like I said, let it flow, let it go. It, it's all gonna, I feel it's all gonna piece together. But um, if someone does walk away, you walk away, then it's for your highest good. Okay, that's, that's how I see it, Pisces, all right? This is your reading. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.